What's going on guys? Thank you for stopping by. I'm your host Celestino. Today me and my groupmate Jack will show you a simple program that acts as an interpreter written in C language. By the way, we have four year students from Technological Institute of the Philippines taking up computer science. So let's start. Like I said, this program will act as an interpreter. So how does this program really work? First, let's talk about what will be the user's input. The user can input a series of zeros and ones up to 8 characters. To make it clear, the user can only input 8 digits binary combinations which are 0 and 1. And what will be the output of the program? The output of the program depends on the user's input. After the user successfully input 8 digit binary numbers, the program will divide the input into 4 sets. The first and second binary digits will be the first set. The third and fourth binary digits will be the second set. The third set will be the fifth and the sixth binary digits. And lastly, the seven and eight will act as the fourth set. Each set contains a short sentence. So if I have eight binary digits, that will be equal to four sets. And if I have four sets, it will produce a four sentence or a one short story. Okay, I will show you how the program works. First, let's try to run the program. The console appear, but this is not the main console. This is a console where you, the user can choose if he, he or she wants to continue or he or she wants to quit. In my case, I will continue I, and I will press enter. The main console asks me to enter a command which is some 8 digits combinations of zeros and ones. So I will enter 00110011. That's it. It produces a short story. The 00 is the first set. The 11 is the second set. 00 will be the third set. And the last set will be the 11. The first set produces a sentence, one day an alien fell to our backyard. The second set produces, me and my mother become friends with it. The third set, the FBI finds out about it and tries to take him away. And the last set, I help him to get back to his friend. So it produces a one short story. And now let's explore the source code of the program. At the top of the program is the library which we need to import or implement in order for our program to run. Then create a variable to store the user's input. In my case, I store it in an array with a size of an A. Then I put void input scan, which is method for the input that will be explained later. And inside the curly braces is just a validation if the user correctly input a correct binary digit. For example, if the if the input of the user is zero is 1 or 0 that, va that, that value will be put inside the array else if it is not 1 or 0 let's say it's letter A the program will return an invalid input warning and the program will stops the current simulation and it will 
time to the beginning. Let's try that. In my case, I will enter one one zero zero, and I will accidentally input two. Now, now you can see. If you accidentally input any character other than 1 and 0, it will return an invalid input. And it will ask you again if you want to continue or quit. In my case, I will quit. If you quit, it will show the execution time of the program. So let's go to the main procedure of the problem and this part focuses on the users if they want to continue or not. That is the first console that will appear if you try to run it there. If you want to continue, press any key and it will go to the main console and in my case, I will accidentally input a non-binary digit or a non-binary character. And again, the program asks me if I want to continue or quit. This time, I will quit and I will press Q. There you go. If you quit, it will show the execution time of the program. Press any key again to continue. If you press any key, the console will close. Um, so let's go to the most crucial part of the program, which is which decides the input or the outcome or the output of the program. In this part, to here decides what will be the story to be produced according to user's input. In this first part, if pointer is equals to zero and if input is zero and zero the first sentence will be one day an alien fell to our bucket. And if not, if the first digit is zero and the second is one, then our first sentence will be one day an flying pig fell to our mini pool. And if the first two digits is one and one, then one day a goblin with the ability to cast magic spell fell to our rooftop will be produced. And if our combination for the first set is one and zero, it will produce one day a baby dragon fell in our kitchen stove. And the and that applies to the other, though it will increment to 2 to check the third and fourth, and increment again to check the fifth and sixth, and increment again to check the seventh and eighth combination. And that's all. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.